What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Today we're going to be talking about Zidane and Vivi's rework. So, I'm sure you guys are aware that Zidane and Vivi just recently received the rework and um, they already have their uh, EX weapons in the game as well. Obviously Zidane already had his longer than uh, Vivi. Well, let's take a look at let's take a look at them real quick and kind of discuss them a little bit. So I've had a little bit of time to kind of play uh, with both of them on my team. I went ahead and farmed up the uh, E-free passes for them as well. Um, trying, to get the, trying to get an angle of like how th things feel different. So, big Final Fantasy IX fan, big fan of uh, Zidane fan. Um, obviously, you guys know Final Fantasy XV is my favorite Final Fantasy game. I know it's not popular by most people's standards, but it's just the sheer openness. But that's another topic down the line. All right, so... Looking at Zidane's base stats for uh, command abilities like Stellar Circle 5, um, the only th big change was that the speed up one was uh, pretty much added to it as well as the max brave up one, I believe. Because um, in the before description, it only says low chance three turn speed down one to target and three turn speed up one to self. And obviously you see in red down there, it's a uh, speed up one. All right, moving on to the base stats again for free energy. As you see, the description increases brave attack on attack, then brave times 1.2 plus HP attack, high turn rate, uh, fair chance three turn defense down one to target, and three turns defense up one to target. So after the rework, the adjustment, um, he got a self three turns defense up one added to it to himself. So that's good. All right. Next thing we're gonna look at is the crystal strength level 55 passive. So before. We see Stellar Circle 5 extension, Stellar Circle 5 used plus 2. Obviously, he does moderate damage boost, moderate speed down, hit rate boost, slight speed up, slight speed down boost, and slight speed up boost for himself and the enemy he's targeting, and a moderate max brave up boost. So the changes after the rework were uh, brave, attack, brave attack hit becomes 5. So I believe it was 3 hits beforehand. So an extra 2 hits to make it 5. Uh, definitely goes a long way, especially if you're hitting for like nine, 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 nines. You're gonna be hitting for a, you know, an extra, almost an extra twenty k uh, worth of damage uh, when using that skill. Additionally, uh, moderately increased cumulative brave damage. The target five turns thieves mark, and self five turns of theory, thievery. So he's debuffing the enemy and also buffing himself. All right. Then noted on underneath it, it says the moderate max brave up boost before adjustment is now applied as thievery with increased duration from three turns to five turns. So the buffs uh, last even longer. All right, so that's good. So looking down at right there, it says slight speed down, speed up boost, and duration plus two. So that's additional two extra turns. Uh, triggers additional HP attack if Brave is at least 80% of max after the last hit. So one thing in particular is that when you use uh, Stellar Circle 5, initially, the, like, the first time you use it, pretty much setting the buffs up. So he'll do the five hits, but um, if you reach up to 80% of his max brave at that last hit, he'll trigger an HP attack right afterwards. Um, you For the first time, it's kind of separate from the an animation, but once you have already did that initial uh, Stella, five, Stella Circle 5, the next turn when you do it, it'll automatic, automatically be included in the animation. So you guys will see when you try it. So, while Theory is active, Stellar Circle 5 becomes Stellar Circle 5 Plus. And what Stellar Circle 5 Plus does, deals extra brave damage to targets afflicted with Thieves Mark. Stolen Brave makes the max brave up to 120% and triggers additional HP attack after use. So, that's pretty much what I was just talking about just now. Alright. Moving on to his level 58 passive. So, we have the Brave Initiative. So... Obviously, what it did before was moderately raise speed while Brave is at at least 50% of max. Um, after the adjustment, it, the name changed to buff attack speed. Cool, no problem with that. Uh, description, moderately, moderately raises the attack with active buffs. Obviously, the speed was already there beforehand. So he gets a little bit of extra attack with that as well. Not, not bad. All right. And then we have the level 60, which is the free energy extension. Um, beforehand, he obviously gets the two plus uses whenever... Um, it was introduced beforehand, slight brave increase based on attack, slight defense down, hit rate boost, um, slight defense up boost, 
and three turns attack up two. So that's pretty good. So you'll see his brave definitely. I'm sorry, not his brave. His attack definitely gets stronger once you initially use his skill. All right. So then looking down after the adjustment. So when using free energy, slight boost to brave granite based on attack. The target obviously once again five turns of thieves mark self turns. So self, self he grants himself five turns of thievery. All right. So. The three turns attack up two effect before adjustment is now applied as theory, which increased yeah, duration from three turns to five turns. Basically, that's that extra two turns that he gets to use. I'm sorry, the extra two turns that the debuff stays on and the buff yeah. stays on. All right, so while the uh, theory is active, free energy becomes free energy plus, which grants him an additional two hit melee brave attack after multiplying brave. So whenever you're using that particular uh, HP skill, HP attack skill, uh, free energy, He'll initially times his brave by 1.2, um, and then when he hits the enemy, initially he'll do an extra two hit melee, then do the HP attack afterwards. All right. And then stolen brave makes C max brave up to 120%, so he does have a little bit of overflow there. That's pretty good. And then he deals extra brave damage to targets afflicted with Thieves Mark. All right. So that's not bad. I mean, I remember playing with uh, Zidane beforehand and. He was lacking something, you know, like he really needed some extra damage. I mean, overflow, obviously, everybody needs, but the overflow really suits him well in this particular uh, situation. But yeah, you know, just if you guys did pull his weapons, you know, I would say try him out. Or if he didn't pull his weapons, try him out, you know. His uh, EX weapon, obviously, not everybody did get or will get, but if you did get it, let me know if you guys noticed the difference. All right. And then Thieves Mark lowers max brave attack and Thievery raises max brave and attack. So he pretty much debuffs and buffs himself for the exact same values. <laughs> Alright, moving on to VV. So his uh, artifact passives have changed as well. So charge fire 2 star gives him uh, f fire use plus 1 basically and buff attack speed 2. Raises on attack by 20%, speed by 10% with active buffs. Not bad. Alright. Looking at his 55 pat level 55 passive, um, beforehand it was called fire extension, which it still is. Um, raises cumulative power of fire, uh, fire becomes two hit fire magic brave attack, and then after the adjustment, he got an extra use of fire, and when he uses fire, um, he triggers additional HP attack after its use. So, pretty good, not bad. I know, VV, it's not really been on people's radar. <laughs> But I'm telling you right now, he's a sleeper. <laughs> um, especially now that we have Lulu and, and, and Jack. You know, Lulu, Jack, and Vivi just sounds like a, a bomb team. Especially if the enemy, if the uh, boss or enemies are weak to fire. I mean, his kit is really nice. And I think with the achievement and the enchantment with Lulu, it just enhances him even further. So definitely check him out, guys. All right. Looking at the Crystal Strength Level 58 passive ability. Um... Before adjustment, it was named uh, Buffed Attack Boost Up. And it's still named that. However, instead of it moderately raising his max brave and attack with active buffs, it largely raises his max brave and moderately raises attack and active buffs. So, there's, I did notice a difference there. Um, like I don't have any passives on him, honestly. Outside of his weapon passives and outside of his uh, normal passives that he has whenever you, you know, the crystal level. I don't really have the artifact passives for him yet, but I did notice a large difference. Difference, excuse me, guys, in how much brave he gets when uh whenever he's used whenever buff attack boost is up for level fifty eight passives. All right, and then moving on to the level sixty passive ability, we have focus extension. Um, obviously, what it did was gave him an extra use slight attack boost up. Um, brave attack become more powerful brave attack magic fire magic damage fire magic brave attack for four turns and then fire became fire plus triggers additional hp attack after last hit if brave is at least 80 percent of max for four turns so once he has that four turn buff going on he uses fire plus and triggers an additional hp attack at the last hit of uh it's brave is at least 80 percent so it wasn't a hp attack beforehand it was a brave but it had the chance of becoming an hp attack if you met the requirements all right and then we have focus extension, the adjustment right here. So max brave up, attack up, duration plus two. And then instead of it being four turns, now it's 10 turns uh, for the boost. And it's 10 turns of the Black Mage's Torch. Um, so then fire becomes fire plus for six turns. So 
You have your 10 turns of the focus ability. And then when you're using fire plus, it's six turns that it'll re remain as fire plus. So not bad, looks pretty good. What fire plus does is brave attack hit becomes three, slightly increased cumulative brave damage. It gets its overflow um, up to 120%. And then obviously it triggers that H additional HP attack after use. So, but one thing to, well, well, well not but, but uh, while Black Mage's Torch is active, Brave Attack becomes Brave Attack Plus, and Brave Attack Plus is the two hit Fire Med Brave Damage uh, attack. Moderately increased cumulative Brave Damage as well. Um, and then HP Attack becomes HP Attack Plus, and Fire Med Brave Attack plus HP Attack. So he pretty much it's a hybrid. All of his skills pretty much are hybrids except for the focus ability, basically. So, one thing I would say is that since I've already played with VV already and kind of seen how he works, uh, if you have his EX weapon, you use his EX ability, that HP attack turns into double fire. Double fire, especially if the enemy is weak to fire and you have an enchantment up, if you have Lulu on your team, that double fire does work. <laughs> uh, I'm hitting for just about 35, 40k, you know, for all the way from zero with a double fire. So, it's, it, like I said, v, don't sleep on Vivi, alright? Vivi's out there. He's a sleeper. I mean, people slept on Walker too, but Walker's pretty good as well. If you're, if you're not, if if you know what you're doing with him, especially when you know how the space turns out and you use your abilities appropriately. So, but that's another that's another time we'll talk about that. All right, all right, guys. So at this point now, we're going to be doing a uh, kind of a showcase to see exactly how these characters are. So, I, like I said, I don't have great passes for them. I'm not even going to show them just because I don't really have anything good for them right now at the moment. Um, we're going to be doing the Ice Cave EX. I've already cleared that. Didn't. Clear the cosmos all the way. I did get majority of everything. Got the target score at least, but I did not get the 90, 90 the ninety turn requirement. So I'm gonna have to do that one more time and kind of see if I can get that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and do the Ice Cave EX. And I'm gonna take this team right here, Zidane, Freya, and Vivi, Final Fantasy Nine team right here. I'm gonna try to make this quick too, as well. Like I said, I'm not trying to make this video super long, um, but I kind of got I kind of want you guys to see exactly uh, how these characters operate. So let's take this for Noah, just for splash damage purposes whenever I switch her out. And let's begin. So earlier, like I was talking about, you know, when you guys see how Zidane, when he had the Stellar Circle 5, um, got it pretty much 80% of his max brave right there, so he did he did trigger that attack right there. So that's good. Let's go ahead and set up uh, Freya with the raised wind. Take this guy out right here. All right, and then as you guys can see now, do the Stellar Circle Five now, and pretty much it went ahead and did the HP attack included in the animation. All right, and then we'll do a Dragon's Breath with Freya. Clear both enemies out. Good, good, good. All right, so Lion Queen definitely want to get her out of here as quick as possible. Both attacking Vivi. Um, so that's good. So let's do a solo circle to kind of set up. Put that thieves mark on her. Thievery. It's more well, the speed down, I should say. My, my bad, guys. Um, we're going to do focus with Vivi. Just because I know they're going to be attacking me. But we're also going to do a dragon's breath with uh, Freya. Kind of get some of these mannequins out of here as fast as possible. And I'm pretty much free to attack with uh, Zidane. And I believe the Llama Queen is going to do the uh, little, in, not well, what do you call it, <laughs> the kiss, whatever it is, like the infatuation kind of kind of deal. So we don't really want that. To, I'm not really worried about that uh, Freya attack, but it is what it is. So all right, moving on, and she's going to attack VV. So I could go ahead and break. And there you go, right there. You got the, the two hit. Uh, set up into the HP attack with uh, Zidane's free energy. Alright, so you know what? Since, like I said, I believe that the Lamian Queen, Lama Queen is going to use that one attack, Magical Allure, and that's what it's called. So I didn't get broken right there, so that's good. Alright, so now Zidane's being targeted, so let's do a boost. Hit. Attack with Vivi. 
I want to get rid of C, just because I don't want to get attacked by him. And let's do another stole set. Alright, you got your your free turn for me. So I don't wanna uh, use too many skills in one one uh, particular area. Just because we do have the enemies at the end. Two ice giants. So we definitely want to make sure that we don't overdo it and put too hard in this particular area. As you see I'm as I say that I'm using <laughs> Zidane pretty liberally. Um but it's okay, because I, I, I do know that we have Renoa to kind of help out if need be. So, do one more Dragon's Breath. I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive than the first one I'm using here. And we'll do one more fire with BB. And he took him out. That's good. So, we should be able to just go ahead and. Let's see, yeah, why not? Get you out of here. Our brave attack on you. Able to tackle you. Got to build, help build BB's EX up pretty good too as well. And then we'll just do a high jump with Freya. But yeah, as you guys can see, uh, how the how the attacks are working, the reworks are working for Zidane and BB. I do like it. Like I feel like like Zidane definitely has a lot more utility now. Than he did when he, you know, obviously when he was first in the game. His EX weapon did definitely help him, um, but definitely he needed something extra. Um, corner. <laughs> All right, so he was getting, uh, getting targeted. Let's go ahead and do a raise win. All right, we'll probably need to go ahead and focus again with uh, VV as well. Look at that, it's dangerous that no action delay, pretty much back in the game. Again. So we're really just going after A right now. Get him out of the way. Splash damage that we'll get will come in handy. Are you hitting for almost 3k just now? No, no, I'm sorry, 2k. Alright, right, so now VV has his EX, so that's good. Do good damage so it's uh, split split damage so not bad do a big attack do a big attack looks like Freya is getting targeted this time so she's having another turn coming up so we'll do a dragon's breath in this turn we did that spin up pretty good and then we will do a brave attack with uh Today. All right, now you guys see it. Double fire, right? So double fire does this. Oh yeah, and it does splash damage. Did not include that. So that splash damage with double fire is pretty good too as well because obviously you want to make sure that both enemies are getting damaged as much as possible. So. All right. So then we'll move on to. Start hitting up B a little bit, kind of bring his life down a little bit too. I'm gonna to switch out Freya shortly out of here. Uh, let's go with. So we're getting all attacks, so. Hmm. Oh, I need to. Oh, I just realized I need to go ahead and focus again. I did not do that this time. Alright, we'll go ahead and switch him out. We'll do the EX with uh, Pretty good damage right there. And then double circle. Keep hitting them with that damage. We'll focus here. As you guys can see, they pretty much did their wallop <laughs> on me. Um, Let's go ahead and take out A. And then we hit with Booster. Get our build, our brain back up. Summon and then just go ahead and take B out. Wow. 
Wow, look at that. VV is 61k. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to build some Brave up just a little bit. Uh, just to kind of do some devastating blows to these guys. Alright, Vivi, what you got? Can we get up to 61? Nah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely need some more passes on you as well. Um, free energy, why not? 60k is the bang. Come on, guys. He wasn't doing that beforehand. 60k with his... Uh, Oh, granted, I do have his Word of Illusion uh, weapon as well, so it kind of helps out a little bit, too. Um, but 60k is crazy for Zidane. He was barely, for like, when I had Zidane beforehand, before the rework, I was barely making, like, 30k in the summon phase, so. But anyway, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon for notifications of my next video. Once again, I've been KDG. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.